What's up guys? So I am really excited to give you this video. It's literally my first look. I got the Z9 yesterday and it was in the evening. So I didn't have time to do much of anything except for um, like the basic stuff. I took it out of the box. I changed the back button focus to um, just back button focus. And um, I did some flash uh, stuff that I have to do to, for my uh, Godox flashes. So literally, um, the only things I did were those housekeeping things, changing the time, etc. So today I took the Z9 out for the first time ever looking through the controls, the menus, um, and there were a couple things I wanted to look at. And so I show you in the video. So this is Nikon's first ever professional mirrorless camera. And I am seriously blown away from the low light capabilities to 32,000th of a second shutter speed, uh, 20 FPS raw at 45.7 megapixels, 8K video recording. I'm definitely shook. This camera has it all for any photographer, um, any type of photography that you do. So in this video, I'm just gonna take a quick glance at 32,000th of a second. The highest ISO function that there is before you get to the high function on the camera. I look at some of the focus, uh, f two of the focus modes, I think, and I just do a actual portraiture shot with the 7200. And then I do a couple of pictures inside my house. The Christmas tree is still up. So just a little bit of playing around. I am so in awe of this camera. Um, one of the things I do want to mention first is this camera is completely silent and I'm going to, you're going to see this in the video when I'm taking a picture of my son. Um, I have my microphone. You'll be able to hear a teeny little bit. Maybe uh, the screen. I love the way the screen moves to take low and high shots. And it also turns around the orientation turns to vertical. Uh, which is really, really cool. And I love how big the back screen is. I also love how large the top screen is on this camera. I really utilize the top screen a lot. I'm not sure why I do. So I was really perturbed uh, with the Z5 because I didn't have it. Um, but this Z9 is, is amazing and it's got all the information I need on it. It's got the Xspeed 7 processor which is fantastic. It's got vehicle autofocus, uh, 3D AF tracking, like this is crazy. So let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so we're at 250th of a second, F2.8, ISO 400. I am going to go to the I menu, to the AF area mode. Well, I wanna let you know I'm already in AFC. We're gonna go to AF area mode 3D. Um, you have a lot of options here that are just really, really cool. Um, I usually stick in there, but um, I wanted to test out these uh, AF subject detection options. We're going to stick with the all categories, but they do have like people, animals, and vehicles, which is really cool that they added that on. Oops, let's go to 3D. So since I'm on AFC, we are going to actually push this and you see it starts to track him. Now I'm not taking a picture yet. Come forward. It's blurry unless I hold it down. And you hear that 20 FPS, which is unreal, guys. When you see these photos, it's going to look like a movie. All right, I want to track you again. I want you to walk backwards um, looking at me, okay? So look, oh, it's tracking his hat, hold on. Yeah, there we go, now turn around. Now turn back around. Look at that, right back to his eye. Turn back around. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit, see what this does for us. Okay, look up. Oh my goodness, see that? Right back to his eye, incredible. Listen to that. And you see the little flash as it goes? That's just, whoops. That little flash is telling you that the camera is taking a picture. You hear how silent this is. This is crazy. So let's go into a different area mode. Let's go to, okay, we will, hold on. Let's just go over to this right here and let's go down to, oops, see. 
let's go down to people. Okay, let's see how this works for us. Now look, I can choose which eye I want it to track. Um, so generally I would, I would choose what's closest to me. In this case, it doesn't really matter. We're not up close, but look at that. Turn around to his face. Turn around, take your hat off. Oh, right to the eye, yeah. Now I want you to stay right, I want you to come up a little bit closer. A little bit closer, babe, like five feet. There you go. All right, Danny, I want you to walk in front of him. We'll see what happens when we have another subject. Don't, so just walk to the side here and then walk in front of him, okay? All right, now. Uh, it got confused, hold on, hold on. All right, walk out of the way. Up, oh, right back to his eye. Incredible, guys. This camera is amazing. Go over there, and I want you to uh, kind of just sit down. No, Danny. Yeah, just scoot down. Okay. Well, I can't see you. Okay. So now it's tracking Danny's eye. Follow. Uh, move into the frame. So move this way. Okay. While I'm holding it down, it's still tracking Danny. Oh, now it went to him, but if I want to, I can hit the over button and it goes over to Danny. So when you've got two subjects going, the one that's closest is gonna take the precedence. So now we want to try, we want to look at one more feature. We want to look at <laughs> this craziness here. This camera goes to 32 thousandth of a second for some reason. Uh, we're going to go to, we're going to have to take the ISO up for this, which is fine. All right, Paulo, I want you to step back a little bit. Okay, that, uh, hold on. Okay, that's good. All right, now I want you to jump up and down. Oh my God. <laughs> it sounds like a gun, doesn't it? <laughs> so it? we're gonna see what these photos look like. He wants to do it one more time. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time. Danny, I want you to walk in front. So scoot back, scoot back, Paula. All right, that's good. And a little bit closer. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm gonna count to three. I want you to walk in front. Okay, one, two, three. In front, just stand in front. No, don't stand in front. Just walk to the other side of it and then walk back. Stay on the other side and then walk back. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. It got confused. It's still an incredible camera, and it goes right back to Apollo when he gets out of the way and turns around. So. you to see the options the movie options we have we have 8k guys this is unreal you know what let's just test let's just try one now okay let's go down to 30 frames per second okay okay we're gonna go to the largest area mode for the detection and we are just going to put it on 
Here we go. So while it's in video, it's going to continue to track him without me having to hold it down. Come forward, sweetie. All right, stop. Mm -hmm. Come forward. Jump up and down. Yeah, cool. All right, stop. Okay, let's not hit the camera off the sand. Run back. Stop. Go side to side. Awesome. That's awesome. Why? It's going to continue to track him without me having to hold it down. Come forward, sweetie. All right, stop. Mm -hmm. Come forward. Jump up and down. Yeah, cool. All right, stop. Okay, let's not hit the camera off the stand. Run back. Stop. Go side to side. Awesome. That's awesome. Take, take a look at movie. Okay, so now I just want to do a little bit of portraiture. And what I'm doing is separating the background here with these beautiful, um, just greenery. I am at F2.8 and one four thousand four hundredth of a second. We're going to go down to ISO 320. Look up, please. Okay, face this way a little bit. Up and smile. smile. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like I said, this was a really quick look at my first hands on this camera. Um, so there's definitely going to be more videos to come. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment below. Let me know why you liked it or why you hated it. And I will see you guys next time.